Hello everyone and welcome back to Raise Aerospace Lace Station Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. In the previous video I discovered that my Lace Station had completely disappeared and that it, the cause was probably a glitch from the episode before that. And I asked the viewers what I should do about it. Either we should revert to a state where the station would still exist, but that our most recent mission had been wiped out, or I was going to start over. And the opinions seem to be rather balanced overall. And I've decided to go with what R3 King suggested, which is to not revert, but instead throw a new station at Leif, but bigger, badder, and more functional. I don't know if it's more functional, but it's certainly bigger and badder. Um, well, uh, this is certainly not the kind of module that we have been sending, and it's bad. <laughs> it's, it's bad. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what he meant exactly by batter, but it's it's pretty bad. Uh, we are going to experience much drag, but it'll be very impressive. Well, sort of impressive. And so I'm going to do it. And you can see the setup here. We've got, uh, those are Mammoth 2s and then a Rhino at the center so it doesn't drain so quickly. Uh, the outer boosters here are fueling these boosters here. So the outer boosters will drop off first, and then these will drop off, and then we'll have the core. But it's hardly going to be wonderfully stable. I mean, these things are hanging off. Those aren't going to fire until later on. Uh, we strutted quite a bit. The struts going here. Uh, you can see I used the sort of ring there as a basis for where to put the struts. And we've got struts from the boosters in, and uh, even struts between these a little bit. So, I've tried, but it's going to be rough, and we're going to see how it goes. Thrust weight ratio right now is 1.156, but honestly, we don't want it to have a whole lot of thrust initially, because it's got to put that all under stress, and that's not a good thing. And we can hope that the fins will not fall off. I think we are going to launch from the runway, because... Uh, I have no idea what that is. Um, because in my pre previous experience, the runway uh, keeps the fins safe. So we are going to go with that. And I've already time warped to the dual window, so we'll see if we can get this over there. Now, uh, these tanks are not fully fueled. And I'll right click on, and there, uh, that's 20 tons. The center one is 30 tons. I hope, oh sorry, 40 tons. 40 tons, but they are max 50 tons, so the outer ones are only 20 tons each. So we are not fully fueled up there, but of course other vehicles can deliver more fuel if we need it. So, and right now we've got 13,000 meters per second, even with the two nuclear engines, so we are not pressed for fuel. Uh, we are even bringing over some methane here. These tanks have methane in them, no oxidizer. So if we need to refuel the space plane that's currently in orbit with uh, Val and Bob, uh, we can use the methane from here. All right. It appears to be Dawn, which is fine. And we don't have any bits falling off, so let's just go. Oh, uh, I thought they'd have the countdown. I didn't revert. Uh, sometimes when you revert, it won't have the initial countdown. But I guess it's because it's a runway. Right, right, right. Confused. Uh, my, my, uh, WASND isn't working. Uh-oh. I don't think I can do this without WASND. But we might as well keep it going for now, just to see how it goes. So far, so good. But the boosters are running out a little bit faster than I'd like. We're going to have to keep them on for a bit. Just for the fins. Oh! Well, that was quick. Well, we have learned something. <laughs> okay, so I guess we should probably not go full throttle all the way. I don't know why it decided to destroy it right there, but anyway, I need to be able to use WASND, so um, yeah, let's revert to VAB, and I'll restart the game just to make sure all that works right. 
Okay, I time warped a bit further, and so we are in full daylight now, as I wanted it. Um, Orientation-wise, maybe I should rotate it 90 degrees, but it was working okay for a little bit there, until we got to the transonic region and all that drag. So we'll try it again here, and... Off it goes. So, yeah, uh, my controls are working now. Well, we will risk wasting Delta V in order to make sure this doesn't completely fall apart. We do have solar panels, by the way. They're here and here. So, and then on the other side as well. On the hubs, I really wish they'd fill in this area. It's sort of empty. But, you know, there's no way for us to fill that. And I'd rather it not look like it was going to decompress or depressurize. So, um, yeah. I hope the devs see fit to actually fill that little part of the hub in. Because there's no good reason for it to be not filled in. And it's visually unappealing for it to be like that. Okay, there's go there goes two of the boosters as far as providing thrust is concerned. But I'm not gonna try and turn or anything. With enough experience up to this point. Okay, I'm gonna try and dump the other boosters. Alright. There they go. Uh well, it's a little bit wobbly. Well, we are now past the speed of sound, for sure. Gotta try and turn, I guess. These definitely do just fall off on the launch pad, by the way. They're the all moving control surfaces, by the way, not the uh, stabilizers or wings. And they're the largest ones, and I kept it to the default size just for safety's sake. Not that that helped on the launch pad. Okay, we should be able to go horizontal actually. I'd actually like to roll those. Uh, that might be asking for too much. Ooh. Flex. Okay, off those go. Okay. Oh, it killed the rhino. Ah, oh, we were so close too. Ah, <sighs> all right. We'll have to put separatrons on those. I was hoping that since we'd be in space, we didn't need separatrons. Oh, and th this ends up being hollow anyway because uh, I have a decoupler on that part, and I didn't close it up. That's the downside. I mean, I don't know if we have enough thrust with uh, the nuclear engines, but I guess we could try it. 120 tons still of uh, hydrogen, just the hydrogen is 120 tons. I was hoping to deliver most of the hydrogen to Jewel, not use it like this. But I guess it might work. They seem to have enough juice. Our time to wap waps this isn't going down that quickly. I could have attached all the boosters with docking ports, but right now I don't think docking ports can stage. We don't have staging decoupling of docking ports like we do in KSP-1. There are multiple reaction wheels on here. That. That. So four reaction wheels large size. No RCS. But we do have some more propellant tanks ringing the docking port up here. That will be for refueling the mob propellants on the space plane. Well, we're in space and everything. Let me get the solar panels out. Oh, come on. Well, honestly, considering we lost the Rhino, that's not too bad. Okay, we are in orbit. Let's try for Jewel. 
Okay, I'm not looking at it too closely. We've got periapsis there. I haven't targeted uh, Jewel or anything. But I see the periapsis, I see the encounter, and I'm just gonna go with that because uh, we're approaching the maneuver and I don't want to waste any time. And yes, we have many reaction wheels here. So hopefully it'll be super accurate about pointing to our maneuver. It says 11,500 meters per second, so I trust we'll arrive with some hydrogen left over. As far as whether the space plane will fit on this, it's going to have to dock to this docking port, and I'm assuming it's going to go diagonal here. I think it'll fit in that case. And go. It's taking a little bit of extra delta V because we are at our apoapsis instead of periapsis, and so not quite as efficient as I would like. Um. Okay, it is tracking it. I was wondering. It's just a very long burn, so it didn't start out there. Worried it wasn't tracking to Delta V. Not that I should trust it anyway, but whatever. I swear though, uh, it doesn't make sense where the maneuver node is there. I'm just gonna point prograde. It should have started lower, and in the middle of our burn, it should end up at prograde, and then at the end of the, our burn, it should end up where it is right now. It's just radially off, I feel. Okay, well, because I adjusted it to prograde, it's looking a little bit better than what it probably would have, but let's be careful here. Okay, that's mid-course adjustment level right there. Somehow, even though Leaf used to be so trolly, it's never Leith these days, because I want to go to Leith. Oh well, same old uh, low jewel capture thing. Yes. I don't know what to call this. What do you call such a station? Hmm. It's not four eyes, there are five of them. Okay, well... There's another Tylo encounter. Uh, I think we'll take this and then go into Jewel SOI and see what's really going on. So, onward. Well, that's a little bit high for our periapsis, so let's see. Alright, that'll be fine. I thought about painting it green to match Jewel, but decided not to. Okay, ignition. Woo, still a lot of flexing, to be honest. Okay, well, set us target. Ah, the descending node is really close. Uh, 79 is not too bad, I guess. Okay, do not plot two maneuvers. I mean, I guess, yeah, I mean, since Jewel has its Jewel glow, even if we don't paint it green, it ends up being green anyway. Okay, go. And stop. Alright, heading to Periapsis now. Oh, Lace over there. Tylo, I guess, over there? Yep. Well, 373 kilometers from the target may or may not be crashing into it. Probably is. Yep. Okay, well, let's get halfway on the way back and then we'll do a mid-course correction. Well, we're going to be off in inclination anyway. Not ideal, but that'll do for now. Okay, well, whatever we've got, we've got. Let's just go to Lathe and see. Wow, just, just like 50 meters into the atmosphere or something. Okay, well, let's pull it away from that. Capturing. Oh, 
Well, let's get past 1A and see if we can get a 1B that's close to it. We'll probably have to correct... Oh, we'll probably have to correct a bit, but... 3 points... 3.4 kilometers. That's not too bad. Um, I don't think we need to correct inclination if it's 3.4 kilometers like that. I guess we'll be delivering about 50 tons of fuel to Lath Orbit here. Not including the methane. The methane is also being delivered. 50 tons of hydrogen. Okay. Basically going right at it at 68 meters per second. Probably not so safe. Well, we're about to find out how good the RCS configuration on the Leaf space, the Leaf space Plane is. Of course, the first iteration of it had a really bad RCS layout, but also a lack of reaction wheel power. Would like to do this in daylight, but I can't really delay very easily. We can't time warp again, so... Yep. I didn't put lights on this, I forgot that. <laughs> okay, we probably don't want to get too much closer than this right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, a little bit close. Okay, this just has to hold steady. I've got an SAS, gonna save. And now here we are. You need to hold steady too. And this is going to be delicate. Well, I can't target the lay station redux like that, apparently. I was trying to double click in everything. It's tough to judge the angle right now. I think we're more like that. Oh, okay, we got some extra light here. We have to be careful with our vertical stabilizer and all. Well, obviously the pitch is off. It's a big space plane compared to the station, even though the station is sort of big in its own way, though not long. We aren't control uh, we aren't targeting the docking port though. So, and that needs to go down. And this one needs to be reduced as well. Okay, now it's wiggling all over the place, that prograde vector, so I can't really tell. But uh, that's pretty well done. But can those fit in between the spheres? Or is there going to be a problem? Um, hold on. I feel like we could probably rotate a little bit better. Oh, not that way. Uh, okay, well, maybe we're, we're just gonna have to take this. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, okay, we've, we've uh, docked and the vertical stabilizer, well, it's close. <laughs> um, okay, not great, but not terrible. Okay, we have docked, and there should be enough reaction wheel power on this to keep this stable. It sure looks like a refueling depot. We do have crew habitats here. We've got the hitchhiker storage containers on each of these arms, and if it's spun, they would have artificial gravity and everything, just a little bit though. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here for now, I think. So now it's all docked together. I'm going to save and then we're going to time warp to better daylight. 
Ooh, it jerks like that sometimes. Um, this screenshot would be sort of a spoiler, wouldn't it? I probably won't use this one. But I will leave it here. So, with this, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.